Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Cover Me, where we play as rival fashion magazine operators, publishers, that's probably a better word, and we are trying to influence the latest trends and in doing so have the trendiest models. So to start off the game I'm playing a two player one today against Little Glass Marty and we are running separate magazines. We have two cards up here that have been drawn and these are magazine covers. These are ones that have been set you know, previously before we started the game and they have started to influence the trends that are going to be coming up. So if we take a look at these cards there are several different things that uh, can be influenced by the card. So there is the hair colour of the model, there is the hair length of the model, there is the pattern on the background of the card, and there is the colour itself. The She's wearing a blue dress. So based on these things, tracks have been altered. So on this amazing little runway here, complete with audience, we have moved forward the patterns for each of these cards to the first step from zero. The colour of the dress doesn't matter in the first month of the game, in the first season of the game in winter. They don't care, they care about the pattern on the background of the cover, not what the model is wearing. But the hair length and the hair colour have been adjusted up here. They've both got the same. They've both got medium length hair and blonde hair. So they have been set to two at the start. And this is all about, you know, the majority you are trying to put cards out that will move these up the tracks and then hope to have the best card that matches all of the most influential trends. Over the course of the game we'll be adding more types of dresses, more colours in there as well that will you know add to the mix and score more points as well if you can be the trendiest and it's one of the better colours as we go along. So let's get started. We start the game with nine cards. Now we were dealt six and then we can draw three more up there. And so I can look through my hand of cards and I need to be thinking, what's what's going to be the trendiest thing? What can what do I have that I can influence the trends with? Well, I've got a lot of blonde haired models here. I've got four blondes and let's see, all of these have got long hair though. And this model, Elizabeth, has got short hair. So medium hair is not something I want. So maybe I want to really try and influence long hair to be out there. Now I do have these two here match the pattern that's in the background here. The colour on the dress doesn't matter. So maybe I want to start trying to influence long hair to be out there. So I can keep influencing blonde so that I can keep that up. But I might want to play a card where long hair is going to be the thing. So we will choose our card. So I am new fashion. So my card goes there face down and everybody else is picking at the same time and we'll put one of their cards down. So we'll play one for Marty there. And in a two player game, you have, in the basic two player game anyway, you have a deck of 12 cards and you deal two each round, which I've just realized I haven't really left enough space for, have I? It's this static tripod nonsense. Bring back the shaky cam. There we go, I can be sensible and move the draw piles along and then everything is fine. So once everything has been played out, we reveal what's, what our magazines are, which covers we have selected to you know, be the first month of the season. So Mar Marty's cover star was Julia there, mine is Esme, and we have Evie and Phoenix in the other players, uh, the, the dummy players magazines. And so now that we have played all of our magazines for the month, we adjust the current trends. And so, you know, these, these are gonna be random, but you will get to, you know, a lot of these cards will stay the same. So you'll get, uh, you'll get to know some of the things that the dummy players might well play. So we have two black haired models. So we put uh, black up to two and we have blonde and redhead and then for hair length we have medium and three long so medium is on three now but and this is good for me because i put a long haired model out long hair now jumps up to three as well and is just as likely to be the you know the prevailing trend at the end of the season. So on the runway now, we look at the backgrounds. So we have this checked pattern, now gets two. The blue pattern gets one more, and this one gets one more. So all of the patterns are just as likely as each other now. And we go around again. So now I've got 
Let's see, Blonde is still looking quite likely, but is not massively in the lead. Long hair has got a good chance though. So I think I could just go for it again. I could put Claudia out here. It doesn't matter which colour dress she's wearing. She's got long hair. She's got any of the patterns are just as likely and blonde is most likely. So I think I'm going to keep trying to push for that. And I think, yeah, rather than doing a secret one, let's look at Marty's hand. The dummy players are already secret ones, aren't they? So for blondes, if, if he's going to, is he going to try and put another hair colour out there? He's got lots of blondes as well. So probably going to keep trying to go for one of these. So the patterns don't matter because they're all tied up at the moment and the dress colour doesn't matter. So hair length, short hair is still on zero. So he's not he's not influencing anything by, by putting that out. The reason that he put Julia out, she had medium length hair and he thought that was gonna be, he wanted to keep pushing that as the prevailing thing because he had Prudence here, who has got that checked pattern. He wanted the checked pattern to get some more points because if Prudence uh, can have all of these attributes met, uh, she can be his top scorer. All of these are different patterns, apart from Juno, would push medium hair, black hair. He could play that. Or does he want Prudence out to, to hope? Yeah, he's gonna put Prudence out. He's gonna, yeah. He will put Dear Prudence out and then we will find the Dummy Players magazine covers and flip them all at the same time. So we have Prudence from Marty, Claudia from me, there was a mistake I cut out. There's a card that shouldn't have been in there. Sarah and Khalees. So let's adjust everything. We have two more blondes, so it's looking quite likely that uh, you know the, the trendsetters are going to be blonde. We have uh, red hair and I should be saying brunette, shouldn't I? Or should I say black hair? I don't know. I should I should have done my fashion research, shouldn't I? Uh, so we have long hair, two medium and one short. So one long, two medium and one short. And then for the background, we have three of the checked background and only one of my diamond background. So that's that's annoying to me because Claudia was the front runner. So let's look at what I've got now. So in terms of blondes, and it's probably gonna be blondes, isn't it? Maybe it's gonna be black hair, violet. Violet could be one to get out there if I cross my fingers that the dummy players uh, play, uh, play brunettes, then yeah, it's medium hair, of the right colour, it's got checked background, or do I play Lauren and hope that long hair manages to take it? And what's Marty going to do then? So, if he's sticking with blondes, they've all got short hair. So he wants to kind of influence, he wants to make Prudence the most popular really, so checked, checked background and medium length hair he might accidentally make the wrong hair color the most popular but yeah he'll put those out there and let's let's not let's flip them over as we're going shall we so we have juno and lauren from us and from the mystery magazines we have sasha and natalie so let's look at the backgrounds we have three more checked backgrounds yes the the people are loving checked backgrounds this winter and then we have the blue and nothing else for that one. Hair color, two blonde, two brunette. One, two, one, two. And let's see, medium and then three long. One, two, three. So unfortunately for Marty, the, the these extra magazines, just loving the long hair and I'm quite happy with that because now we can look at, for each magazine, who is your most popular model? For this, we need to look at the trend value of the models. So let's look at Marty's for a start. So Julia here, she has the checked background. So that is a trend value of one because that's the trendiest background to have. She's got red hair, so that isn't a trend point. People are not so big on the, tr on the red hair this season, but uh, long hair, she hasn't got long hair either. So she's got, just got a trend value of one. Prudence hasn't got the hair, blonde though, and has the right background, so she's got a trend value of two. And Juno has the right background, doesn't have long hair, doesn't have the right color, so just one. So Marty's trendiest cover star is Prudence with a score of two. So the others go back to his hand. If we look at mine, I think the newly, the, the freshest cover star, Lauren, has three. So, yeah, she, she would be two because 
she hasn't got the right background. Esme is the exactly exactly the same, long haired, blonde, wrong background. So they both have two, but Lauren has three. Now there is a special circumstance here. If all of your models are <laughs> equally unfashionable, then uh, they would all stay out and all score for you. And for the dummy players, Evie here would be two, and the others wouldn't. And let's see, the right background, long hair, blonde. Oh, the dummy player's got a three as well. Natalie's a three, isn't she? I think so. So these will come back. So now we score the cards. We clear out the influence row and look at the trend value of our models. So if they have a trend value of one or two, then they are put in the influence row. So Marty has influenced what the you know, what the trends are going to start as next season. If your model has a trend value of three though, it gets put face down under your player card and is going to score for you at the end of the game. The Dummy Magazine's cards just get put in the influence row. They never score points. They are just there to you know, have a bit of a influence and to get in the way a bit. Now you replenish your hand so that we've always got the same number in there. Now, if you scored points like I did, you get to draw from the current deck here. So I can draw just blind from the deck or take one of these models. So I can see that, let's see, Blonde's got a bit of an advantage next round to start with. No, we're gonna be worried about dress color next round and you know, there's, there's one of each in there, so that's nothing. Checked background is gonna be really big. I have a couple, oh, I have quite a few with that background. So let's see, long hair's got a bit of an advantage, maybe we should go for Hannah, or we could just draw blind. Let's go for Hannah. Marty didn't score though, and so now it's time to, yeah, the, these have all been shuffled up, uh, but they were just face up, so it look nicer. You draw the top two from the next deck, and Marty gets to pick which one he wants to go in his deck. So, you know, it's, it's unlikely, isn't it, that green is going to be the most popular uh, dress color straight away, but over the course of the game, you're gonna get more and more of these and they're gonna score more points than having any of the three base colors in your scoring pile at the end of the game. So let's see, checked background. Medium hair is not the best. Blonde though. Marie, got a stripy background. I think, I think Marty's gonna go for Claire. She's gonna go into his hand. Marie gets put to the bottom of the draw pile. For the dummy player deck, it's two cards short now. So we take one from the current deck and one from the future deck and shuffle that all up for the new season. And I'm just remembering that all, all of that talk just when I was thinking about cards, all of that talk was irrelevant about background color because it is now spring and nobody cares about background color in spring. They care about the color of the dresses that the models are wearing. So at the moment we have red, blue, yellow, and green. Wait a minute, that's blue. So we reset these tracks to zero as well, and then adjust them based on what's in the influence row. So we have two long hair and a medium hair. We have uh, two blondes, a brunette, and then we have one of each of the basic color dresses. Okay, and we go again just like before. So let's see. For dress colors, I do have I have a nice mix of everything, really. I'm not particularly strong in any of them. Long hair, I'm good at. Blonde. Let's put Esme out. I think that's a good start. So it's going to be mine. Obviously, you know, Marty's not going to peek. We'll just put it face up. Marty. See, he has not that many blondes of the same dress color. So he can't have much of a say over that. He could put Claire out. It's kind of a neutral that's not going to influence a dress color either way and then maybe try and jump on something else later or yeah he'll do that because it can even be in your interest to if you see things aren't going your way as i said before if all of your models score zero for they aren't the trendiest in any of the criteria then all of them will score which can be really really good but really hard to pull off so the dummy players publish their magazines as well and they have Bella and Eleanor and so let's see we have yellow dresses two more of them and a green dress 
and a red dress. We have three blondes, so blonde is probably going to be the most popular. And then we have two long hair, two medium hair. And yeah, so that is the first month of the season. So now I definitely want a blonde to go out there. But I do not have a blonde with a yellow dress. So yeah, that's not great for me. It's definitely going to be a blonde. I want to try and make blue dresses popular. But yeah, I didn't do a good job of that by putting that red dress out, did I? So let's put Claudia out again. Let's see if Claudia can pull through for me this season. Marty is quite happy, although, yeah, Cadence here has, is blonde, it's got a yellow dress, but it's got short hair, which is massively behind. So, he can try and push for another hair colour, but really, it's not going his way, is it? He shouldn't have put Claire out. He should have just put something random out and hoped to score nothing for anything. Let's see, he could put... You could put Cadence out and just hope that short hair prevails. And the dummy magazines have Audrey and Petra. And so, let's see, we have two blue dresses. Two yellow dresses, which I'm annoyed about. We have two blondes. And one each of the others. And then we have short, 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 long. So short's coming back a little bit. Only two behind. The final month of spring, what do we have? Let's see. So yeah, I I'm, I'm, might have to go with Elizabeth because putting, yeah, trying to jump on the yellow dress bandwagon, I would lose the, the hair color bandwagon. So it's, it's helping short hair though, so I'll be helping Marty's out. I wanna watch out for that. But really, I don't see a better option. I just flick through the models. You can see all of the. There are tons and tons of uh, of cars in this game. As you can see it, all unique models as well. It's really cool. So yeah, let's let's put Lisbeth out. She's going to be our cover star for the third month of spring. Don't make me do thinking. I'm already thinking about this. Let's see. So we're we're sticking with blondes, are we? Let's... We don't want, Marty doesn't want to put blue out because that would help me. He can see that, uh, well, he, could, he can't see my latest cover star, but he can see red or blue. Red is massively behind though, so he probably won't lose out on putting red out. And it's short-haired blonde, which helps him out, which you know, hopefully helps out Cadence. So he will put Natasha out as this month's star. And let's see what the other magazines put on the covers of theirs. We have Veronica and Sasha. So we have two blue dresses, which I'm happy about, but we have a yellow dress, which does spoil it for me. And then a red dress just in the background there. We have two, three more blondes. Wow. And then a brunette. So yeah, hair color has been decided for a long time. And then we have short, short, long, long. Long, long, short, short. So I don't think either of us have got a scoring card this time because yeah, Marty's best is Cadence with two, but she hasn't got long hair, unfortunately, and that's what the people really wanted. So the other stars will go back into his hand. For me, my best is Claudia, I think, with a score of two, just hasn't got the right dress. And let's see, for the dummy players, long blonde, that's a three. Veronica is a three. Trendy three. And then I think Elena. Blonde. Just hasn't got the hair. Yes, she is a two. So let's see, we discard the influence row. They absolutely go in the influence row. But I think our cards both go into the influence row as well because we didn't score any threes. I didn't score, so I get two cards from the next row. So we can see <laughs> massively already this is going to be a very very blonde uh, blonde dominant game isn't it so luckily i've drawn two brunettes for this eventuality maybe i can try and score zero yeah let's try and do the opposite so we've got we've only got one short hair out there long hair is popular so let's go for zima 
who has got uh, short black hair. And then Marty gets to draw two as well. And oh, <laughs> similar position. He will, he'll keep trying to, What what is the, the green dress star that he's already got? Medium hair, he'll take Anik because she's got some traits in common with the other green dress model that he's got. So we are in the summer now. Let's reset these tracks. And reset everything back to zero here. Still care about the colors of the dresses. So yellow dresses, very popular. And blue dresses, slightly popular. Blondes, four blondes to start with and nothing else. Yeah, well that, that's probably decided. And then we have two long, a short and a medium. Okay then, so what shall I do? Which model should be my first star? Well, I have lost my uh, yellow dress wearing, uh, long haired blonde model, and she is working against me now, influencing the, the wrong stuff. What shall I go for then? Oh, I was gonna go for zero, wasn't I? Should we try that? So we don't really know, because there's no particular hair length that's dominant. Let's try. Let's try Zima and see if we can be the most unpopular magazine. The, the, we're just defying trends. We're setting our own trends by being so bad at the current ones. Marty's in a similar position, actually. He's lost his yellow dress wearing blonde. Let's see, the dress isn't that far in front. Blonde hair is. So we could try a blue dress wearing blonde. Short hair though, but that's not that far in front. Yeah, he's gonna try Susie. And then the dummy player puts two of theirs out. We have Petra and Sasha. So let's see, we have another yellow dress, two blue dresses and a green dress. And then we have three black hair and another blonde. And then we have three short hair and a long. Okay, so this is how it's difficult to score zero because in trying to play things to influence a way, you know, I, I would like to play things that are the opposite of Zima to try and make her less popular. But in doing so, I might put down something that wins or scores something and you, you have to score absolutely nothing. So what do I do? I, I don't want, probably a redhead. Redhead with medium length hair in a red dress would be perfect. We haven't quite got that. Actually, yeah, long hair might win this if we put a long haired model out. We can go for, yeah, blue dress might win. Red dress is quite far behind. But if we keep putting black haired models out, black hair might end up being popular. You know, two came out from the, the dummy magazines. So what should we do? So medium hair, violet, although she's got a yellow dress and yellow dress might win. I think she is my only medium length hair model. So we need, we need someone in a red dress because that's furthest behind. We are shooting for really unpopular. Definitely not the blonde. Sorry, Esme, to reduce you to the blonde, but I'm just trying to eliminate things. So we have Let's see, will long hair, long hair is historically in this game won so far. Should try Lena. Although the hair color here, we just have to hope that long hair wouldn't win because red hair isn't gonna win. Yes, let's go based on that. Okay then, Marty is actually trying to play properly and win. So blonde models, Although, yeah, Marty is a bit stuck for dress color, really, isn't he? He was trying to influence it into something else. So, although he's only got, for yellow dress, he's only got redheads, which again is the furthest behind. So I think he's gonna go for short haired, blue dress, black hair. Hopefully he can make, uh, he can make black hair win. So we have, oh, we need some dummy player covers. And we have Audrey and Bella. So where do we go from here? We need two steps on blue, one step on yellow. And if they tie, they're both the trendiest, so that's okay. Then, 
Oh, we have a red dress too. And then we have two black hair and two red heads. So at the moment, Marty's doing okay. Though I, I don't want black hair to win. <laughs> and finally, hair length. We have two long, not what I wanted, and two short. So they're still winning. So maybe I couldn't do with a brunette or with Zima's green dress. So maybe I need to switch tactics now. Do I have a blue, a blue dress wearing model? Let's see, I can try and keep going for this, put out another redhead and hope that she loses. Or, you know, put, put out a redhead in a yellow dress to try and stop Marty from scoring as well. Or should we just switch tacks now and try and win? Short hair's popular, blonde hair could be it, blue dress could be it. I think this might be Lisbeth's month. Okay, now we have Marty's. What's he gonna put out? He's gonna keep trying to win. It's medium length hair, unfortunately, but he does want blue dresses to keep coming out. And if short hair wins, Melissa's got short hair. Unfortunately, he can't influence that any further, but Juno is going to be the final summer model. And two dummies, we have Phoenix and Sarah. Dummy magazines, of course. And so blue dresses sweep the nation. And red goes up one. And then we have short hair, one short hair, two medium, which doesn't matter, and a long hair. And for hair color, two black, one blonde, and one red. Okay, so I don't think I've got anything. Has Marty got something? Blue dresses, all fine. Black hair, so Susie is out, unfortunately. And short or long, Melissa is a three. For me, <laughs> let's see, Elizabeth is a two, I think. Yes, because she hasn't got black hair, but otherwise meets the other criteria. So she's leaving us, unfortunately. She's, too, she's becoming a trendsetter now. She's too big for our magazine. For the dummy player, let's see, black hair, short, blue. Yeah, we just pick a random one if they're tied. Uh, black, short hair, blue dress. I think black hair, blue dress. Sasha is going to be the trendsetter there. So we discard the old influence row. We have three influencers for the next season. And Melissa scores for Marty and goes face down underneath his player card. So we move on to Autumn and reset all of the tracks. Nobody cares about the color of dresses again. They are bothered about background patterns. And what do we have? We have two blue stripes and the diamonds. We can straighten these up a little bit, can't we? I'm not used to this tripody business. So what do we have? Two black hair and a blonde. And then one long hair, two short hair. So where does that put us? So do we have it? We have no models with uh, with that background. Elizabeth, why did you leave us? Let's see. Oh, we didn't we didn't refill cards, did we? I need some new cards. I need. I didn't score, did I? So I need to pick from the future cards. So let's see. Cindy has short hair. Red hair has been. Predominantly unpopular though this year, so maybe I should go for Lindsay. Well, the medium length hair hasn't been great either. I haven't got much choice in background. Let's go for Lindsay. Come on, Lindsay, we're gonna make you a star. And then we, Marty gets to pick from these because he scored. So, let's see, short hair would be great. Maybe black hair, he's gonna just go, he's just gonna go off the deck, I think. And he's got sand, Sunny. I do apologize. Okay then, so let's start this season properly. So I need to influence the background the most that I can. And so we're gonna go for diamonds then because they've got a bit of a leg up. People love those diamond patterns. 
So the models I have to choose from here, I, it would be better for me to make a green dress wearing model score. They would be worth more points at the end of the game. I have a couple out now. Let's see. Short hair, should we go for Zima? Let's put Zima out again. And Marty. Let's see, he can, he can try and push the blue stripes. Yeah. He, he could go for short hair, but red hair's never really gotten places. Neither has medium length hair. He could go for one of his newest models. And the dummy player brings out Lexi and Bella. So let's see, we have two more of the stripes, one diamond from me and one checkers from the dummy magazines, and then two blondes, two black hair, one, two, one, two. And we have short, short, long, long. Short, short, long, long. Okay, so that, that's not good for me, but maybe, Maybe this is my time for unpopularity to strike. A medium length redhead with checked background would be perfect for me. Now the only medium length hair is Lindsay and she might win on hair color. Yeah, oh, I've, yeah, Violet might win on hair color as well. So we could go for a checked background. We could go for Nell and just hope that short hair doesn't win. Or should we try and keep competing for now? Checked background. Black hair, short hair would be perfect. Check, black, short hair. Let's, oh, we don't want check, do we? We want diamonds. Hmm, what should we do? It's either gonna be Lena or Nell. Lena, if we're gonna try and do something, Nell, if we're gonna try and score nothing. We're gonna try and score nothing, yeah, let's keep playing it the dodgy way and then when it inevitably fails try and play properly for the third card play. Marty, what's he gonna do? So ideally black short hair with blue striped background. He's got black medium length hair. Yeah, he's gonna keep pushing that background. And then we have the dummy models. And let's see. We have two more blue stripes, two checkers, and then we have two redheads and blonde and black hair, and two medium, a long and a short. Two medium, a long and short. Okay, maybe then. So I don't think I'm gonna score nothing, and I can't score all a three because I don't have any with that background, so. Maybe it's just in my interest to try and stop Marty from getting the most popular model and stop long-haired blondes from uh, being able to win. I don't know what he's going to play for his third cards. So I don't want long hair, I don't want blondes. Maybe I want Lena to try and, uh, and stop him. I don't think I'm going to score anything, but I want to try and stop him from scoring something. Meanwhile, he's happily trying to just win. Blue Stripe background is kind of in the lead the most, so he probably doesn't have to worry about that. Does he have short... A short-haired, black-haired model, no. Medium length wouldn't really help him very much. Although, yeah, it's, it's, it's long blonde hair that he wants to try and win, doesn't he? He hasn't got... He's got long red hair. Or he could put blonde out. He's going to try and put long-haired Katarina out there. And two from the other... Super Secret Magazines. And so what do we have? We have Blue Stripes again. Two more of those and one of those. We have two black hair and two red hair. The red hair is as popular as blonde this season. And then we have two long hair and two short hair. So black, short hair, blue stripe background wins. There are no models like that. So Marty, I think Anik is the best model for having two of those, blue background, black hair. So unfortunately he's losing, he's 
nice scoring card. And yeah, she didn't score three, so let's just do this now. She's going in the influence row. For me, short black hair, Lena or Zima, I would rather lose Lena, I think. Because also, losing Lena gives me a bit of an advantage here with Zima. Because she has two of the same things in common. Then for the dummy players, they don't score either. They do pretty badly, actually. Let's see. Short hair. Short black hair gives you two, which is the best out of a bad situation there. And I think it's just one for all of these. So we'll just put the leftmost one out, shall we? And so the dummy players get topped up with one from the normal deck, one from the future deck. I get to pick from one of the futures. And we can see, you know, what's coming up again. Short black hair is looking good. I think Lichia is going to be a good model to have. And for Marty, he gets a choice between Ellie and Sophie. Hmm, yeah, not, not black hair. Marty could try and bring medium hair back, but short is winning at the moment, so I think Ellie is going to be the one to have. So we change the season now, and that is going to trigger a brand new year. And there are four you know, years in the game. And there are a few things you do when the year rolls over. You add a new deck to this main deck here. You shuffle all of this together and put new draw piles out. The draw piles are based on hair color, by the way. That's why there's these three and there was, you know, when I drew one from here, there was still a card underneath it. You draw until there are three different hair colors out and you stack the same hair colors on top of each other until you find three different hair colors. So we shuffle the green dresses into that main deck. And now the next clothes color that you get to choose from if you didn't score after a round is going to be the black dresses. And for the year after it would be the white dresses. And so over the course of the game, your decks are going to be, you know, be shifting to these more and more valuable cards. And hopefully you can influence the fashion to score those cards. Because at the end of the game, you score points based on everything that's you know underneath your character card. The basic colors you only get two points for. Green, you get three points. Black, four points. White dresses, you get five points because you, know, you wouldn't have had them as long and they're just more and more prestigious to have in your decks. But I think I'm going to stop there for now. If you'd like to know what I think about the game, there will be a link appearing here sometime soon. But yeah, we, we go around and we do three more years like this and the decks change and get influenced by the new cards over the course of everything as well. So that is Cover Me. I hope that gives you a good idea of what the game is like and whether you would like to investigate further for yourselves. But thank you very much for watching everyone. If you'd like more playthroughs, there's tons on this channel. Subscribe to it and like them and things and tell me what you think of this. Have you played it? Why not? Anyway, I'll <laughs> see you for the next game. Bye.